Hi YouTube, this is Melinda Lachey and I'm back with my second YouTube video which is a what's in your bag video. Um, I developed this obsession with Louis Vuitton over the past few months thanks to me watching you beautiful ladies on YouTube and gentlemen um, who own vintage and new pieces of Louis Vuitton and um, so I wanted to do my first Louis Vuitton um, second YouTube video um, was in my bag for my DeVille. I purchased my Louis Vuitton DeVille on Tracy and um, <clears throat> it is a vintage piece. I have a Juicy Couture engagement ring charm that goes on my bracelet attached to this little rivet and this bag has the outside pocket and I have a brass Louis Vuitton padlock on the side as well. Um, this was a vintage piece and it was pre-owned. It was manufactured when I was um, 18 years old. It was manufactured in 98, um, the year I graduated from high school. And there is the actual date code if you can see that. What I love about this bag is the fact that it's actually a luggage piece a cosmetic holder um so it zips here and it has the two zippers so that if you wanted to lock it if you wanted to use this for your um bag when you're on a plane um your carry-on piece you could actually lock that luggage and um, these two zippers snap together you can take your padlock and put it through that hole and you won't have to worry about your bag if you fall asleep or something like that or you could actually use it um, with your checked baggage um, so to get into that this is the third Louis Vuitton bag that I purchased again all of my Louis Vuitton bags were pre-loved pre-owned and I purchased them on consignment websites so um, Websites like Trade C, The Real Real, Shop Hers, you can find all the best bags in the world and uh, for great prices. I paid $358 for this bag, including shipping, so I won. Okay, um, in this outside pocket here, um, to go ahead and get into the What's in My Bag video, which I'm excited about doing, um, I have receipts and my cell phone, which is an iPhone 4, and yes, I'm still in the iPhone 4 Club, not the 4S, the 5, the 5, 6, whatever. And um, my son purchased this Marilyn Monroe case for me for our birthday. My son and I both share birthday, um, January 16th. And so he's actually 16, so I have a 16-year-old son. And I'm very proud of him, very proud mom of him and my daughter. So without wasting any more time to get into the rest of my bag, um, instantly if I open it up, You'll see that I have a scarf right on top, which I'll get into in a second. But um, more importantly, I have these two pockets in the back of my bag. And I have, I'm going to spin it around for you, these two pockets in the front of my bag. And I'm a very, um, I'm a huge bag collector. I love handbags and kind of OCD about the organization inside of my bag. I like to reach in and know what's where and just grab it and use it the way that I need to. So that's the actual layout of my bag. And um, I'll go ahead and get into the different items that I have inside. And again, I'm very excited about doing this. So the back pocket on the um, right side, I have my Dr. Seuss planner, which I use for just jotting down ideas when I'm out in public. I have a Lily Pulitzer planner, which I use on a daily basis, but that agenda is just huge. And so I actually um, love and own um, a Kate Spade agenda, but they don't have any 2015 refills anywhere. And I'm gonna do a video on this agenda um, because I had to kind of make my own little tabs and all that stuff for last year. And I came up with my little dot system and everything. I'm a huge organizer. I have a human resources background. And so um, I like to stay organized. I like to stay, you know, focused. Anyway, the next pocket back on the back side has um, a couple of um, little um, items. My little Tiffany & Company jewelry holder. 
which I got one out of my first Tiffany piece years ago from an ex. And that was a small chain about the size of the one that I'm wearing now. The charm returned to Tiffany heart charm. Small as well. I love it. It's absolutely adorable. I've since given that to my daughter now since she's 12. And this is a very dirty little bag, if you can see. But I use it all the time. I mean, I, some people keep them and they just store them and they look pretty on a shelf. But I like to actually use my stuff. So the vintage and pre-owned Tiffany jewelry that I purchased didn't come, unfortunately, with those little baggies. So um, I have this little heart return Tiffany charm that I got from online on some consignment shop website and then I have the oval doll tech necklace um, which I love tissues and of course they have to be cute Barbie tissues that I got from the Dollar Tree I've developed allergies lately so I'll keep those with me and then getting into my bag that's fabulous okay the first thing that I had on top as you can see when I first started shooting this video was my little um Chanel scarf. I don't know if this is authentic. I don't think so, but I got it from a consignment store and it was reasonably priced and I thought it was cute. I love the dark chocolate and the golds with the little bling little design on it and the little rubies. And um this was my first um Chanel anything. So it's a that's where it says Chanel. And again, I don't know if it's authentic or not. I don't really care because it doesn't have to be. I still love it. As long as I like it, then it's okay. Um, so I'll sit that there because it's just kind of randomly sitting in there. But I'll go from the back. The back I have my Kate Spade um, hot pink Safiana leather um, iPad wristlet. I've actually used this when I was in Savannah last year as like a little clutch that I had, you know, when I went out. Has the gold little spades in the back. And it has the beautiful little striped interior. Currently, my iPad is not in here because I had a freak accident with it. I was wearing a statement necklace, and I was looking at my iPad, and it fell onto the necklace, cracked in the corner. So I took it back to Best Buy because I did purchase the protection plan, fortunately. And um, it's almost time for that thing to expire, but I had a freak accident right before it did. So they're repairing it or you know, whatever. And I'll go pick that up in a few days. And then here's my Dr. Seuss journal. Believe it or not, I'm 35 years old and I have an infatuation with Dr. Seuss. But timeless good information, you know, that just doesn't expire. And this is this book, All the Places You'll Go, is a great graduation gift. A lot of college students get that for graduations and um, things like that. Then I have my Case Bay pencil case which I love. I picked this up from the Lenox Mall um, here in the Atlanta area. Let's see. And inside I just have some random pens and pencils. I like gel ink pens from Walmart. Um, I have a Kate Spade pen that I purchased from the Kate Spade store also. And this pencil case came with some case Bay polka dot pencils, but um, I don't have them in here. And I have a gold little, cute little pencil sharpener. And, oh, for the case Bay pen. The thing that I love about this pen is that it's cute. The thing that I don't love about this pen is that the refills only come in black. So I love blue ink and it just doesn't come in a blue refill. Even my Brighton pen that has like the little charm detachable from it is so adorable. And I got that from Phipps Plaza. And I love collecting stuff and I'm throwing a lot of, you know, name brand stuff out here. But trust me, I love shopping on a budget. So it was um, in the little Brighton store and it was on sale and I got it. Cause it was like originally like almost $40. So anyway, but I don't use it because it doesn't have a blue ink pen refill. So anyway, yeah. And so then there's this little ruler that I use to measure items when I'm selling online. And, um, I love this. This is actually what the refill for the 2015 case Spade agenda, um, looks like it's designed like this with the gold dots with the white background that fits into my the refills fit into a 
into this agenda, but I don't know if they discontinued them or what, but I haven't been able to find them anywhere. K-State website has been sold out since last year in like November, you know, when I was trying to plan ahead and grab some. Next item in my bag is The Game of Life, a book that one of my great friends, Jen, recommended um, by Florence Shin. This book, you can download a PDF copy for free um, because it's so old. I think she wrote it in like the late 1800s. It was published in like 1912. And as many of you may know, um, copyright, um, the copyright right to copy something or print or, you know, reproduce something expires after about 50 years. Um, I think it's 50 or somewhere in that arena. Um, a random fact that I learned um, when I took an HR um, course. And if you ever go for, if you ever sit for your PHR, your professional human resources exam, that is um, where they'll teach you different little tidbits and facts like that. Um, copyright facts and stuff like that. Um, so I thought that was just an interesting FYI. Then the little bookmark that I use is the one of my daughter. She took this picture last year in 2014. So cute how they did the bookmark um, pictures. But I like hard copy books. Um, I, I like electronic books, but I only have a couple downloaded on my um, iPad. I like to write notes in my book and highlight in my book and do a little dog ear thingy. Um, I'm just a nerd like that. So those are my items there. And next up is my Kate Spade um, Hot Pink Safiana Leather Wallet with the gold hardware and the gold space on their little um, rivets and the little zipper pull. This will be comfortable to a zippy wallet for all of you Louis Vuitton fans out there. And I'm not going to get into what I actually have in my wallet, uh, but let me move this receipt back here. But I love cute, classy stuff, and that inside is just so adorable. It has the black polka dots with the white interior. And that's all throughout the wallet. It has several sections. One section that's a zippered section for you to keep your coins or your money in. Then, um, you know, there's some there's a section in the back. You can keep your checkbook back there. Tons of um, card slots. And then there is a cute little slot on the back, um, which I have a couple of ones back there. And it's polka dot as well. And, um... Yeah, so I love this wallet. I got this in Savannah from the Kate Spade store down on the Strip um, last spring. And it's really cute. You can wear it any time of the year. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the spring when you, you know, use this wallet. So I'll set that stuff there. One of my favorite items, um, my Louis Vuitton pochette. And this one was made in the USA. Um, Louis Vuitton Paris made in the USA. Um, the date code is SD something because it was made in the USA in San Dimayas, California. And there it is right there. If you can see that. I have some cash in here. My keys, which I have a coach little key fob. Um... I have a roller ball for the Couture La La, which I'm going to give away some of that. I have the Moth to Flame Mac Dazzle Glass, the Viva La Juicy Roller Ball with the perfume on one end and the lip gloss on the other, and it's really shimmery pinky. And I have the Burt's Bee Peppermint Cooling Lipstick um, Beeswax. I have Prada Candy, which I was looking for last night and couldn't find it when I went out. I have some Rimmel um, Red Kate lipstick. That's not what I'm wearing right now, though. Um, I'm actually wearing this MAC um, Ruby Woo that my cousin Destiny got me for Christmas. Last, this past Christmas. Some Bath and Body Works lip gloss that I like. It's very shimmery. shows up really good. Um, just little personal care stuff. For us the girls, Voluma's Millionaire Lashes. I got that from Walmart. Um, I don't even know who makes this, but 
it works really good. I don't like a lot of makeup, but um, that's a really cute little um, thingy. And anyway, picked this up from Sally's, just some eyeliner. And Zyrtex, because I have allergies. I'm allergic to God knows what. I tried to eat some shrimp recently, felt my lips tingling, my face itching, my eyes watering. And so I was like, okay, let me go next door to Dollar Tree and get some pink pills. And yeah, so after that, stepped it up, got some Zyrtex, and bam, everywhere I go. And I put the um the main items in here because I can use this of course alone on its own as a little pochette and I have my little Juicy Couture 2014 class ring charm on here that I think is absolutely adorable something that I wanted to get to commemorate the fact that Juicy Couture was closing all of her boutiques so yeah so that's that then another item in here is my Urban Decay Naked um eyeshadow palette and it has some really cute little um little colors in here it's more of a kind of a nude and brown um and beigey um kit stress relief lotion from bath and body works i love the eucalyptus essential oil with the spearmint um i i do the whole thing in that the candle, the scrub, the massage oil, the pillow mist to just spray on your linen. Um, then I have Mad About You lotion from Bath and Body Works. It's a newer fragrance. And it has like a warm note, kind of a Chanel, Angel, Jimmy Choo, kind of Gucci, Guilty kind of, you know, undertone that whole, you know, just really warm note and this spray and I'm not really a big fan of body splashes and sprays and my best friend and I were kind of talking about this the other day neither of us kind of care for them but the good thing about these is that and this might be TMI when I'm in public places I like to kind of you know walk into a bathroom and it smells fresh and it doesn't always happen like that in the real world so I take this give it a little when I walk in the bathroom and I think that's just a courtesy splash that you can do when you're walking out of the restroom. Because, of course, you don't want to leave the restroom in any condition for anybody else to enter into. Not that that's what I do. But some bathrooms are just not up to par when you go to some places in public. Especially when you're going out, you're partying, you're at a club, or you're at a, you know, a little place that they just didn't invest a lot of money in their restrooms. And sometimes the toilet doesn't, you know, okay, anyway you know what I mean um and I just broke my nail so that's all the stuff that's on the inside here um these random items that I sometimes keep in my bag and sometimes I don't are right here my coach coin purse which I don't keep coins in it it's so huge and it's kind of tall my nail is getting on my nerve um it's kind of tall so I'll use like bobby pins and Stuff for my locks, scarves, headbands, and bandanas, and stuff like that. Has a little coach tag. Coach hot stamped here. Coach hot stamped there. And I love the fact that it's one of those old vintage coach pieces with that dark burgundy, that really soft leather that looks better as it ages. Um, so that's that. Then I have my Kate Spade business card holder, which I use for my cards. I do own my own store, and I do business consulting. I just finished a real estate class, and I um, I have an HR background. So sometimes I'll go to some companies, and I'll come in, and um, I'll help them get their HR department set up. Um, I'll do their filing and their organization, and vetting. Um, you know, fully staffing different agencies, um, different things like that. So I kind of keep my business card in this little handy dandy Kate Spade business card holder. And um, I love how it has Kate Spade hot stamps in the back. And I keep my tags in it, mostly everything that I buy. I don't know why. Probably because I'm a consigner. And I buy secondhand stuff, and so if I ever sell something secondhand, then bam, the tag is still attached. 
Not that, you know, it is in use condition, but it just kind of gives that whole reassurance thing of, okay, I kept this in tow and um, you're getting something that was really loved and well taken care of. My Kate Spade passport holder, um, which I will take my passport out of just, um, you know, because I don't really, I'm not going anywhere right now, so I don't need that in there this second. But the interior has the polka dots, and it has the gold case fade hot stamped on the bottom corner, and it has a pocket that you can just slide your, you know, passport into, or you can use it for whatever reason you need to. On the back pocket, there's some cash, so if you're traveling and you are just taking your passport with you in the holder, you'll have that cash there for you. And last but not least, these two pockets in the front of the bag. Um, I'll take that stuff out. And this bag is great on the inside. I purchased this pre-owned, but guys, there's not a scratch or a stain or a mark or anything inside of it, which I love because I'm not going to spend hundreds of dollars on a bag that's all molded and mildewed and stinky and scratched up. I'm sorry. I'm just not going to do that. Um... Unless it's very, very cheap to refurbish, you know. It has these four elastic straps because this was originally a luggage piece for your cosmetics. And that's really good because I'll keep like my lotion and my little spray that I showed you kind of strapped down in one of those little elastic bands so that it doesn't spill or waste over anywhere in my bag. Then I have personal feminine um, stuff that us girls use inside of this little... Um, Lola Mark Jacobs little um, pouch that I picked up online on Tracy and I have more Zyrtec for my allergies and I have some Dayquil um, just some little sinus medicine Excedrin sinus you know Excedrin um, headache medicine so this is like my little um, you know first aid kit I guess you can say I have matches in here for when I like candles I like candles all day every day and so sometimes I'm upstairs and my matchbook is downstairs so I keep this with me because I typically take my purse wherever I am even if I'm at home I'll you know take my purse upstairs with me if I'm upstairs or I have it down here with me when I'm down here and my little GNC peel um, holder and I have my little Dollar Tree allergy medicine in here that I picked up the day that I first had my um, shrimp allergy. Fortunately for me, the Dollar Tree was right next door and everything was $1. And I went in and I got a, you know, a bottle of pills, popped one, and um, they kind of rescued me from that allergy attack. And last but not least, I have my little hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works that comes with a silver little keychain, which you can use to kind of clip onto your bag or, um, you know, whatever you're using. And it has the um, Jungle Grapefruit hand sanitizer and um, has pink flowers on the front. Um, so... You know, I have, you know, kind of researched this bag and looked all over for it. And again, like I said, it's a luggage cosmetic tote. Um, originally not, you know, manufactured as an actual handbag uh, for everyday use, but I use it every day. So the actual little luggage tag that came with it, I took that off. Because I didn't want it to look, you know, super luggagey. I wanted it to look like an everyday bag. I love it. It's so durable and so strong. And, you know, it just, you know, keeps its shape without you having anything in it. This is what it looks like. Completely empty. It never just gets really flat. You know, it's just really sturdy and strong on the bottom. One of my favorite bags, definitely. So, let me know what you guys think about this bag. If you guys own this bag and you have any information you want to add, um, if you have your luggage pull on your bag, your luggage tag on your bag, and you want to show me some pictures of what it actually looks like to maybe convince me to use my luggage tag, um, send me some pictures, you know, give me some information and some insight. And I love you, YouTube family. 
stay positive, have a great day, be motivational, and remember to always, always, always be grateful and practice gratitude. Thank you. It's Melinda Lachey. Hope you enjoyed.